Early as today, the CDC is expected to relax some of its COVID-19 restrictions, including those for kids going back to school in the fall. Nancy Chan is here with more. Nancy, good news for a lot of parents here. What are we learning? Good morning to you, Tony. CBS News has obtained a draft report on the guidelines that could be coming today. They are likely to involve two key areas for students, COVID testing and social distancing. And they'd be coming just as children across the country are getting ready to head back to school. Look at the pose. The CDC is planning to simplify and streamline a wide number of its COVID-19 recommendations, starting in the classroom. According to a draft document obtained by CBS News, the changes could allow schools to relax their strict social distancing measures, which have already been effectively phased out by the CDC. They would also de-emphasize so-called test-to-stay strategies, where students exposed to the virus take regular tests to stay in the classroom. So the test to stay strategies, we've turned over a lot of infections that were asymptomatic and forced kids out of the classroom. I think they can lift those things at this point, and that seems to be where CDC is heading. School Superintendent Michael Cornell fully supports the possible changes. So, uh, you know, what we have to focus on in school is making sure our kids experience joy, value, and connection in school. Another potential update, those exposed to COVID would no longer need to quarantine, vaccinated or not. Instead, the recommendation would be to mask for 10 days and test five days after exposure. Still, the proposed changes are raising some concerns, with only about 30% of younger children fully vaccinated and more than 80% of Americans living in areas with medium to high COVID rates. Dr. Scott Gottlieb says the CDC would still ask schools to remain vigilant. For example, notifying parents when there's a closed contact so parents yeah. can keep an eye on their children and get them tested. And part of the CDC's reasoning in lifting the quarantine recommendation for anyone exposed to the virus is the increase in people who now have COVID-19 antibodies. They also want to limit the social and economic impact that quarantines are having on the nation. And there's also this aspect that with simpler and more streamlined rules, people will follow, follow them a little bit better, too. Yeah, we've got the antibodies, we've got right. vaccines, we've got other treatments. Uh, kids need to be in school. And as the, that one expert said, they need that love, that connection, that learning. And if if this can help them get it, I'm all for it. And we've been talking about getting to this place for quite some time. Totally. We've been in this fight. Seems like finally we're putting the gloves down. Yeah. We're getting Yeah, past but it. we're still get, getting COVID. Yeah, but it's just not uh, as extreme. Uh, yeah. Not, hearing the words de-emphasize is a good uh, yeah. thing, yeah. I feel like. And kids need to so. be in school. They do. Nancy, thank you. I agree with that.